Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's just sort the other side out. Here's my alarm saying. Turn on online. It's nice of it. Okay. Hope you all had a good week. Tonight. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good evening, Rich. Hope yours has been good. Tonight we've got these guys, these are the, I believe, what was it, the Asian successor half guard phalanx. They're the new gripping beast, ones for Age of Alexander, so your half guard. Yes, it definitely is Friday. Fortune. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna pick some more up from them today. Some more videos. We'll start with some barbarian flesh tonight, I think. There we go. Also, what I'm going to do is I've got a nice brush. Well, that's a psycho. So my computer went funny then. Ah, there we go. Another new detail brush. Ahoy, Harvey! How are we doing, shipmate? Yeah, I, I like these successor miniatures. I've picked up the a couple of the uh, warlords as well today. I'll grab them in a sec. Let's just finish his arm, wash the brush, and have a fiddle with some. Let's just wash that out a sec. Let's just grab some bags that are hiding over here. Let's see where we go. Russell, Russell, Russell. Here we go. I can't see we did the uh, levy last week. I've still got these guys, which are the mercenary the warriors. And these are the ones I picked up earlier off of him. The uh, warlord miniatures for him. It's quite cool. That's the right code for that one. He didn't have the right code on him for this one, I don't believe. So I've got to look this one up. But I will do before I do a video on it. Hope you can hear me alright. There we go. Which I thought he's cracking. Ooh. Yeah, you guys could probably find the code. Yeah, old eye patch. He's obviously someone special that I don't know. I'm sorry, but yeah, he looks like he's gonna be cool paint.
<laughs> is it birthday tomorrow then, Rich? Or just the pre day? Yeah, he's a good miniature, that one in the white patch. Ah, yeah, birthday weekend. Go. Yes. Three days of cake. Mm -mm -mm. Or oh, all day breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. It's always worthwhile. See how long you can stretch it out for. His leg guard flesh, so let's just sort that right out there. Be getting carried away with this new brush. Let's put him there for a sec. Yes. All day breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. There's Tootsies. Bit of flesh behind you. Oh, somebody's found a horn. So just before uh, I put the camera on, which was a little tiny bit late, somebody had let a huge amount of fireworks off and I thought oh no so if there's any unexpected bangs apologies yeah, just run a little bit of flesh up in the slots where the ears would be I think, come to think of it now, I'm um, going to swap for the darker flesh tone because I did that on the levy. I just remembered. So I wanted them to have more of a tan look. So we're going to go for the tan flesh. But it's not a problem because I say we're going to do our usual wash with that anyway. I've also got some, uh, I've been playing around with some more 10 mil miniatures this week. So I picked up some 10 mil early Germans at these towers this afternoon. <laughs> They're in a Very busy mode there in at the moment. They were cast in miniatures like it's going out of fashion, they really were. Like a well oiled machine. So I just stood out the way with my coffee, in fairness. Lord S seemed to have his minions under control, so that's fair enough. All's happy, all's good. They're doing um, collect at war because they're at warfare in Reading next weekend, aren't they? So I think a lot of people are gonna collect miniatures from there, <laughs> save on the postage. Yes. So, 
They're waiting on the uh, arrival of the Parthian cataphracts, so they're hoping they'll be uh, arriving time. Hey, good evening, John. How are you, shipmate? <laughs> yeah. I know they're doing the part, seems like, um... and keep their release schedule quite I've, I've asked them to as stuff comes available let me know because I did so I did an unboxing video for their um the plastic Irish it was really kind of cool so they said as soon as they get stuff they will let me know Yeah. Oh, cool, Harvey. I will check that out. The messenger on the uh, on my Pipe Rich Paints Facebook account, the messenger seems to have gone a little bit funny. I think it's um, they're trying to turn some of the pages into like business pages and some into personal, and I think it's messing up the messengers a bit. So if it takes me a while to get get them. Don't panic, I'm not ignoring you. Or I've got the, uh, there's a messenger on the uh, Twitter feed as well. I think you can um, message on there, but yeah, hopefully they'll sort that out. Right, so that's our tanned flesh base. So I think next we shall go for the nice red cloaks. I'm a bit croaky tonight, so I'm going to have to keep I'm going to swig of this uh, juice. Next, we're going to start with Abomination. Which is got a little bit stuck. Hopefully. Oh, man. Right there. Just wore it down a bit on the wet palette. Had to be red, didn't it? Had to be, really. It's been a, quite a busy old day, really. Oh, I picked up a, a 
an American War of Independence miniature as well from their front rank collection. You're not painting tonight and you're just going to chillax. Do you guys get any paint done during the week? Been busy? I like the way they put the shields on these guys with the proper strap around the shield. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's why I decided to stick them on first. So, so I could get a really good connection with them and uh, fill the gap with a bit of glue. Oh, cool. <coughs> yeah, I painted uh, the book. I, uh, is it the Sword Point book? I did the Hundred Year War stuff for. Good fun. Like, really nice, aren't they? Oh, from First Corpse. All oh, right, I get you. Sorry, I've, for some reason I've put, in my brain it was front. You said front rank there, but sorry, I only half read the description properly. Definitely good fun to paint. Just done this with the uh, regiment brush, really. But there we go. Big old cloak seasons. Bit of dip, keep it going.
getting very stuck into this tonight. You know, I like visiting the Beastie Boys. It's sort of like a afternoon away from the painting desk. I might get all sort of jumpy. <laughs> Why didn't you get it painted today? Okay. I escaped into the real world for a bit. Um, uh, Christy, I don't think I've done any videos on Militus Christy. Uh, I've painted them all, <laughs> um, but I don't think I've done any videos. This is a bit where somebody <laughs> in the comments says, you have. <laughs> what could be like when I've done like double the amount of videos? I think we're on about 50 videos at the moment. About 400 and... 440 subscribers, something like that. So, yes. Thanks to all the subscribers so far. I'm just keep subscribing and letting us know what we're doing. Yeah, I can look up some of the Christie stuff. I'm gonna be, uh, so I've got quite a couple of big commissions to do over the next couple of weeks, so. Got the uh, rest of these successor videos to do. I've actually got that um, front rank cannon to do as well. So, and also I've got. Um, I was working on it this week about a different, well, a different approach to painting the ten mil stuff. So I grabbed some ten mil stuff while I was there this afternoon. Cool. Now I've knocked the phone. Sorry, guys. Whoa. That was a big wobble vision there. Sorry, fellas. I'm just, um, I've looked on the side. I'm going to literally, I think I'm going to use their colour scheme for these apart from a little bit so let's put the flesh wash on first oh, I've, got, I've got a new paint rack so it's all in different order at the moment and for crusader skin Put this on before I can do some white in a minute, so I don't want this cracking on top of that. Hey, yeah, when we reach 500, because somebody asked if I'd do a a shelf tour of my room because <laughs> somebody spotted in one of the videos that I've got like dragons and stuff around the uh, painting room uh, they're not the biggest of shelves but there's a few of them so perhaps do that or something do a 
short paint thing. Or we can have a look at some stuff. I thought maybe a giveaway as well. I was, I was talking to uh, the Beasties about doing a giveaway at some point. Nice. Is that Portuguese Cacodos? I've probably said that completely wrong because my pronunciation stuff is rubbish. Yeah, I love war stuff. I bought all of. Uh, no, it wasn't all of. Uh, all the stuff at H had. Conflict forty seven, that was it. I keep forgetting to get some to paint. Which is really rubbish because they're very cool miniatures. You're not to Warlord, they're opposite um, Foot Sore and that, aren't they, Warlord? And Nick Hare, is it Nick Hare's place? North Star? Yes, I think so. Okay, we've got the base red on, we've got the wash on, so let's do a base white colour, shall we? Let's use uh, yeah, let's use some bream matter beige. So I'm just going to do a bit around there. Is it the kill or I'm not sure what that's called. Round. I think the other bit we're going to have white is going to be the plume. So, this is the brain matter beige, which is obviously just a like a nice off white color. I'll do this so we can. I don't want to go pure white straight off. Yeah, we. Visited uh, Nick uh, to pick up some stuff and also I think picked up some foot sore stuff while we were there as well. And uh, we were on a bit of a tight schedule and I wanted to go into Warlord Games but uh, I was overruled by the driver. Which I didn't mind in fairness. I don't think Warlord were, it wasn't an open day or anything. Literally, they're across the yard from each other. Yeah, definitely north of Watford. That's anything north of Watford is up north, isn't it? That's what we always told. Going up north.
Rich, j- just accidentally go into the others before you go into Warlord. Just say, oh, it must be all part of Warlord. I just need to go to Nikkei's to buy some speed paint. Oh, look. I think it's over this. <laughs> You could just have a really bad stumble and stumble across the courtyard. Honestly, they're in stumbling range of each other. You will park out. Yeah, if, you, if you're cunning, you could park outside. Uh, I think it's Warlord and, as far as I remember, Warlord and Nikkei are pretty much opposite each other. And then Futsal's just down the other end of the road a little bit. Well, not road, but the courtyard bit. So if you go in, turn left, park next to Futsal. <laughs> Walk to Warlord via Nick Ayres. There we go. Then on what we did was on the way back, we popped into Griffin Beast, Evesham. We made a real, de- real day of it. Let's see who could how many manufacturers we can hit in one day. There was a suggestion of actually going from Evesham to Wales and hit uh, Great Escape Games and uh, Annie at Bad Squid at the same time as well, but I think that was a real sort of... run out of time thing really <laughs> as I was telling the beastie boys earlier I'm, I'm not I'm not responsible for my actions I am a pirate <laughs> and they're merely suggestions Guidelines as you as you were. Do 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 do. Ah. I thought it done his not his uh, plume, lovely plumage. so we can put a little bit of wash over and then probably highlight that back out with some pure white there we go see what else we've got to do right we need there I mean, it's time to put some of the armor oh, color on we've got a couple of options here um, I think we're gonna use I 
so I can shake it up now. Make sure if you're using metallic to give it a right good shaking. Use greedy gold. Dog snoring well. Yeah, sorry, didn't get the uh, advert for the link out early enough today. Yeah, I say I was a. Uh, wasn't sure what exactly I was going to do until I got home with the uh, goodies. Well, these were already here, in fairness. Can't wait to do the ten. We're really looking forward to doing the ten mil video. I like painting ten mils. Hitting us all over their armor. <laughs> we do the shield as well because the good thing about these ones, I think if you had to paint. Obviously, because I knew you need four for the half guard for Saga, but if you want to make a proper phalanx, you could paint these pretty, pretty quick. I'll do the back of his shield, because that'd be wood. Ah. Ahoy, welcome, Roger. How are we doing? Never too late. In fairness, no, no, they're, they're fine on the plastics as well. They're at differently, different metallics work different ways. Um, some look better if you put a bit of black under them. Depends how some cover better than others. I mean, the gunmetal silver gun is my go to colour, but obviously, we're looking for a bronzy look to these guys. So I'm using the gold, and then I'm going to use a I'm going to wash the, the metallic to give it a different look. So, we'll do that in a sec. A bit of fern, I'll just notice we've missed a bit of flesh, it's not a problem. Let's finish this bit metallic. Just grab a bit of flesh, drop it in. Boop.
is everything the um, army painted stuff. You really have to shake it like mad, even their normal paint. Um, if you don't, it just doesn't work. Um, I know so many people have been put off army paint. I was originally. I thought it was um, no good. And then uh, somebody said, oh, have you tried doing such and such? And I did, and I thought, oh, it's actually uh, pretty decent stuff. It's all about getting it working right. Nice. I did some crus early Crusaders um, a couple of videos ago, I think. I did the. Uh, is it so Godfrey? Blah, 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 blah. I don't think that's the correct pronunciation. And some Griffin Beast early Crusaders. I think they're still hanging around on the side over there somewhere. Oh. Should do something. I'll probably put them on eBay, I should imagine. Yeah, um, there's been a lot about the reaction issue. <sighs> hmm, size. Uh, there's a massive spat, wasn't there, on Twitter against two of the big, big guys. I did a, a couple of. I've used the speed paint on a couple of videos and. In fairness, if you use it in the way that they've said to use it, it re it reactivating isn't an issue. To say it doesn't re reactivate, I think it's wrong because it it kind of does. Um, you you can it it will react. Um, but as I said, if you if you're using it in the way that they've sort of said, it doesn't really make any difference. If you're gonna use it the way that you always paint everything else and layer up on it, it, it will. But it's horses for courses, isn't it? The whole point of the thing is you're you're putting a, a one coat thing down. For instance, if I'd have painted their cloaks red with the speed paint paint, I wouldn't have then put more red on top because I want to layer it up. I just want that speed paint look to it. If then, yeah. Army painter annoyed you when last month they put a video up saying, hey, fellow kids. See what announce. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I think with social media now, um, it's very tricky for companies to please all the people all the time. And I think sometimes people react to one thing being said where really you just got to go with it they should yeah you're right they should just announce what they got to announce which would have happened back in the day wouldn't it you, they'd have just announced it and you'd have everyone would have made up their own minds about it and job done I think it's very hard to build the hype now, though, Harvey, with um, where it's very instant. Yeah, I was talking to uh, somebody who sure remained nameless earlier about using this speed paint reactivation thing to actually use it as a blend. 
I did it on a troll, uh, like a fantasy troll. I used the very dark green they do, and then grabbed ordinary lime green paints and yellows and put that over the top, knowing the dark green would bleed through. And it ended up with this really mottled looking troll, which I was happy with. Just because a paint or a product doesn't do what you quite expect it to do, it doesn't mean it's useless or, or hopeless. It just means you use it in a different way. <laughs> yes. Very true, Bob. Hope doesn't last very long, does it? I, I, rather than using it to I'd do it the other way around Bob instead of painting the robot brown and reactivating to remove it I would water the brown down and put it on runny so it runs into so it acts more like a wash I've, that's one thing I've noticed about the speed paints is they make really good washes Although, yeah, the peeling paint, yeah, you could do that. Um, they used to use hairspray, didn't they? God, the dog won't. Lay still, dog. Yeah, some people, but yeah, they, they've got products to do it with as well now, haven't they? But, well, that's all good fun, isn't it? Doing all special effects and stuff. I went to the... I'm not sure... It was a, a model show in Bristol, uh, like a annual yearly competition kind of thing. Some of the work in there is amazing. Some of the dioramas are looking at you thinking, am I actually just looking at a miniaturized? You know, a helicopter or whatever. Because it was that good. Well worth looking up model shows and Yeah. Joe Joe, you know that's what I was just saying about I went to the uh say the show in Bristol it was just um model modeling exhibition kind of thing and i noticed a lot of the products that we buy um for our hobby like miniature painting if you if you get a modeling shop they're kind of half the price i think what was it uh some of the lacquer from one of the companies i won't name <laughs> it was very much cheaper in the model 
modeling area than it was in the uh yeah perhaps that's enough said about that perhaps right let's crack on the eagle let's get our favorite brown low burnt umber I'm going to try and buy shares in. And they're going to hit their sandals with it first. And I'll swap to a brush with no point. Um, MK Ultra, hello. You think you'll ever paint some Dark Age goths? I've painted lots of Dark Age goths. I haven't done it on video yet. I can certainly get on it. Um, foot sore ones, yeah, they're good. I say I've painted the foot sore ones. I've painted the beastie ones. Who else does a good set of goths? Uh, was it Avatime? I want to say Avatime, they're a bit, dear, a bit rarer. Uh, yeah, I did a goth army for somebody and it was... Um, <laughs> I They did a, a mixture of the goths from Griffin Beast and Footsaw, I believe. So I think some of the sculptors are the same work for both, if you know what I mean. A lot of freelance, don't they? So yes. I hope that helps. Does it help? Oh, they got the plastic ones as well, haven't they? The uh Yeah, the Goff Goff Noble plastics from Griffin Beast are really nice. I like them. I remember doing them now. Yeah, they mix. Yeah, they're mixing quite well with everything else as well. So that's always a good option. <laughs> okay, yeah, Jigglypuff's. Uh... He, he sits on top of the, that's a little shot glass that I put all the uh, offcuts of the lead in. And then when I visit the Beastie Boys, I go and tip it in their lead, lead pot, kind of my little bit of recycling. And it's not a lot, but every little helps. The foot sore ones I've not painted because I saw they were doing a lot of uh, in resin now, aren't they? As well, which is cool. Oh, that was the last lot of foot sore stuff I painted. I was trying to remember what it was. Uh, the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The Roman stuff. Uh, Gangs of Rome. It's a bit of, uh, 
Let's get the metallics in there. It's, it's actually um no it's, it's just the camera um let's let's um I don't know what to put them next to to show what sort of sizes they are but yeah it's the camera making them look big um don't know what I've got to hand to to show you but yeah trust me it's uh it's where I've zoomed in on the camera they're just twenty five base so they are 28s they're not even big big 28s mm. just forgot anything to hand i've usually got a space marine or two kicking around somewhere if my son's been up here but don't seem to i'm afraid All that's on the bench at the moment is a really old rail path for 25 mil. <laughs> that's going to be no help on scale of judgment. It's weird how stuff looks on camera sometimes, isn't it? dropping some of this burnt amber at the back of the shield as well. Yeah, what I'll do is tomorrow I'll put do what you do, finish them off probably the base because the the uh, pumice is still drying. And I'll put the stills up on Twitter and Facebook. Back book. We're all, we're all trapped to then, aren't I? I do one. If you if you can check that out, uh, Ultra, and uh, I'll do dig a miniature out and for some scale. But you'll see better when when I take stills. In fairness. It's really hard to judge. I did uh, some cavalry for somebody the other day, and they, they thought it was going to be the odd size. And I took a photograph. Said, "Oh no, it's fine." And the camera made it look worse. So, yeah. Okay. Is that metallic dry enough? Yeah, the metallic's dry enough. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... Is my favourite flesh. I've done the gold over the sh armour, so I'm going to grab some Reichland flesh shade. I'm just going to drop that over the gold. Give that sort of antique look. Okay. 
No. Oh, well, actually, look at the light. It's shiny at the moment. Let it go into those recesses. All coming together. Oh, an hour. We've been on an hour so far. It's not bad. Give this a shake again. The um Army paint flesh tones again, but this is just a little bit runnier. I think the other the army painter one's a little bit darker as well. It still works. Uh, yeah. Just add some interest, really. Let's try we're gonna do a little bit of highlighting on it anyway. Do, 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 do. Yes, it's cool. Let's drop a bit of a red wash. Mm. Let's get rid of those. Sorry about that, chaps. I got last week a web thing. <laughs> yeah, it seems that way. I did ask somebody else what to do about it, and they said just do what I did, just delete them. There's not an awful lot I can do. So, apologise. <laughs> it's weird how it this all works in it. I was going to talk about it, about it's subscribers, wasn't it? I was going to say, when when I hit, it's obviously the magical thousand I want, but 
that's that's way off in the uh, distance, but I think we're doing really well. Really happy the progress so far on four forty ish, I think. So yeah, I was talking about them earlier, give doing a giveaway, and I hit five hundred. So the seed has been planted. What I'll probably do is get all the subscribers to. I don't know, message or something, or like a video or something, and then do a raffle thing. Let's find the fairest way to do it, you know. I think it should be, you know, all the subscribers, not just the new ones, you know. It's like this live one I'm doing on Fridays. Like, well, it's only a few of us, but in fairness, it's nice to have some instant feedback and you know some contact. <laughs> okay, Bob. Allegedly. <laughs> Uh, you do know everyone else can see your message, don't you? <laughs> it's a bit damn. That wasn't the private message bit button. <laughs> yeah, so that see what we've got at the moment we've got the really flesh wash yeah I did that tan flesh is so dark that um... let's drop, put a drop more on there again <laughs> okay. Let's do this nice crystal blue. Let's get back onto my brush that's got a point on it. Why not, eh? Yeah, I think on the uh, doing raffles fairly front, there's um, I think my thought uses uh, there's an app to do it, isn't it? You can. Although I saw somebody did one on on YouTube, and it was like uh, put the names into a I think it was like a horse race on the screen. I'll have to ask because that was that was quite a fun night, watching all that. Uh, I'll just make sure it's done fairly so I don't get into bother if people I just said Bob you I'm sure you'd more than hopefully help me out there <laughs> you'd back me up <laughs> Do a couple of bluey ones. 
And that's what they've done on their website. They've done a couple of blue ones, a couple of purples. So we, we do that. And a bit of our dip to it. There we go. Nice and snazzy. Mm. Alien purple is probably the, the one I think. Use a little bit of alien purple. I think this is like the gene stealer colour. <laughs> fair play. I'm going to read that out for everyone that's watching back tomorrow. If I win, it was fair. If I lose, you're a tosser. That's how I play tabletop games and raffles I enter. <laughs> Oh, okay. Do I... Ultra... Sorry if you're already said, but making these for a war game, selling to someone on, on like, Etsy, or do you... It's a, it's a mixture. Um, some of my own games. Um, I don't do Etsy. I, I do some for friends as well. Um... Some of the ones I do on video are like odd bits that have Griffin Beast have given me to do a video from. And if I don't want them, I'll stick them up on eBay uh, just to make sure I, I, I get overloaded. I mean, if you saw behind me now, there's just shelves and shelves and shelves of painted miniatures. I tend to have the opposite problem to most people that I just, my lead mountain turns into a painted lead mountain and... Uh, I have to shift it on so yeah it's like this all this successor stuff at the moment i'm not sure whether to keep it or sell it on um but yeah hope that answers the answer yeah bit you're right a mixture of all of it really i think is the answer to that question but yeah on um ebay uh what's my username on ebay <laughs> I think if you look, uh, I think my username on eBay is Kafban. I'm going to swap to one of my favourite purples, I think, which is a GW one. I've actually got, I'm going to... I was given somebody's lead mat in a, a friend of old friend of mine um, gave me a lead mountain of all old Ral Parfer and Grenadier stuff for all my like Dungeons and Dragons stuff, and so I've decided that I'm gonna all the shelves behind me are full of like newer Reaper. Um, and Reaper Bones stuff. So I've got like 
stacks and stacks and stacks I've got to clear off on eBay. I think I'll probably wait for one of their offers and then just bang it all on there at 99p a go and just let it all fire. So if there's any role players or fancy gamers out there who want lots of fancy militias, because I thought I just wanted the shelf space for my uh, old Rao Partha stuff. That makes sense. I think it does. It does to me anyway. I thought, what am I going to do with all this really old stuff? I mean, stuff when we were first to, you know, together as a group playing D and D. So I couldn't say no. I wouldn't have said no. <laughs> so I started painting it even before I cleaned the shelves off up there. Close, C A T H B A N. Kathban. I think it's on written on my Twitter account if you look up Pirate Rich Paints. Perhaps I should write it down on a piece of paper and hold it in front of the camera. Would that be helpful? Unless you want to respell it. I could stop painting for a minute and type it, I suppose. No, that would be far too sensible. <laughs> There's a bit on there at the moment. Oh, spot on, Kathban. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's my uh, eBay... Page. Um, there's all sorts on there. <laughs> Just letting that red dry off. Let's put some wash over the white. I'm going to use the Army Painter Light Tone. Use a small brush. Just wore it just a little bit and just that's why we used the off white earlier so the wash doesn't look too tea stainy on it. But again, we're going to put a white over it again anyway, so I just didn't want it to completely wipe it out. Because he's a saga half guard, I wanted him to look a bit fancy pants, so. Again, if there's too much wash on there, don't panic. Just get some of our dip or even a bit of water and just wash it off a little bit. And that Wash will run off into the grooves, which we wanted to do anyway. Run into all the gaps. So we don't worry about it staining it up a bit. Just the back of these shields, just put brown on there.
All right. Do I put any agitators in your skull dropper or your big bottle of medium mix, or do you just shake it up before you use it? Right. The I don't. I used to put them into the skull dropper bottle, but I was worried about breaking the glass pipette in there, so I don't anymore. I took it out. Um, but this is the one I mix it up in, and I have agitators in there. That helps. And then I just put my goatee on camera then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that bottle has an agitator or two in it. Now, what I find once it's in the glass thing, you just, once you're pumping it up and around, it, it tends to keep itself all stirred up anyway. I go through a lot of it, though, in fairness. I was talking about it earlier on to... Uh, Darren Beastie. <laughs> so I was just laughing at. Uh, right, we had two things happen at once. Then, yes, putting the agitator in the big bottle was a cracking idea, and I just had some. <laughs> Mr. Duckington, his mates not spoke to him in a month, went to his house and his daughter was using speed paints and putting it on thick. So I said, oh, she's a right slapper. And he got kicked out. <laughs> Good work. I don't know what was the problem. What's the problem that? Oh, dear. Some people are so tetchy, aren't they? <laughs> Good work, Bob. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put some blue on the air. Oh, this was the tone I picked up earlier. It, this one's empty, I think. Yep. Let's grab the new one. Just roll over here. Here's the next one. Good old Griffin Beast earlier through their paints. <laughs> I was through their paint section earlier, like, ah, I need this one, I need this one, I need this one. Very accommodating chaps. I'm just gonna um they don't technically have a shop but if you give them a ring of if if you're in the air or gonna be in the area um they're quite accommodating to let you go and pick stuff up or purchase stuff while you're there but yeah they they'll help you out as much as they can obviously if they're stinky stinky busy they're gonna not be able to help you out very much but they certainly let you pick stuff up but there's no actual out and right shop no at the at the moment they're just oh so busy. I think it's getting ready for the uh, warfare next weekend. They're just, it's all over the place and they're just, there's lead flying and boxes everywhere. And no, so it's not like that. But yeah, they're, they are busy. Okay, so just waiting for some of that heavy red and drops to dry out a bit in there where I went a bit mad. Getting on. 
There's a lot of washed or drying there. Yeah, you got it. It's it's like a, a scene from Lord of the Rings. We've all been forged and there's dwarves everywhere and God knows what's going on in there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab some bright gold this time. Excuse me while I give it a good old shake the bejizzers out of it. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't use my electric one because it sounded really dodgy on the <laughs> I think that sounded dodgy as well, it comes to think of it, but uh, oh well. And we're just going to, with this bright gold, is it bright gold? I think yeah, bright gold. I'm just going to highlight this out a little bit. You can be a bit more random with the uh, highlights when you do the metallics, can't you? Because, you know, when's the sun going to catch it? It's going to catch it here. It's going to catch it there. Around the rim of the shield. I'd, go, I'd do it at the top of the shield. Not the thing, but, yeah. So we still want this to look coppery. There we go. Yeah. You don't have to do this highlight, in fairness, it will still work the same. Yes, yeah, they do, but where I put the, um, you're right, they usually shadow themselves and highlight themselves, but where I put the flesh wash over them, it, it makes them really dull, which I did on purpose so I could do this. Like getting some of that texture on the uh, big flat areas as well. Um, yeah, they're pretty. It's it's like all the sagri and stuff. It's I think it's one foot in history, one foot wall. It's cool. Um, there's some. Yeah, that's. I go for the rule of call. In fairness, I do do a bit of research usually when I'm doing a commission, what have you, to try and get it as right as you can. I think you owe that to people. But Some people believe that colour is a, a modern invention, which <laughs> just not true. They had bright colours, they just didn't last quite as long because they didn't have the right detergents, did they? <laughs> <laughs> but as I go to say to people, it's um, if they're your miniatures, you can paint them how you like, and that's that's the important thing. If you pay it for somebody else, ask them how they, yeah. You know, I think that's, that's important, really, is... I think um, I'm going to take these to a bit of a brighter red and stuff anyway. Yeah. Uh, before I do that, well, let's do this sort of flesh tone now. That gives the red a little bit more time to dry. So usually I'd go back over that base colour with the, uh, the darker one, but I'm going to use the lighter. Let's see, but I'm going to make it really watery. Absolutely spot on, Rich. Your miniatures, your way. That 
flashes a little bit of light, that's it. Let's just tone it down a bit. We're going to mix the two. All right, lovely. It was just a little bit too light. I put the uh, barbarian flesh straight over the top of our uh, tan flesh with the speed paint on it. It was just too much of a jump. So we're just knocking it back a bit. Be our highlight color anyway, so it always goes on first and it looks a bit lighter than it's going to dry. <laughs> there we go. Nose and chin. So about forearm there is going to be in the light. A bit on his knuckles. Snoring dog. <laughs> the camera's not picking out too loudly. <laughs> At least the firework display stopped in time. What was amazing? I don't think I'm going to paint eyes into these because there's they're right inside the helm. Uh, yeah, I think we will actually. I lied. I think we will. We did them in a sec. Toes, highlights. I do them. Just a quick run across the his toes. <laughs> I'm a bit bunged up in fairness, so I was hoping I'm not I'm not sounding like Darth Vader on the thing, but yeah, the big snorey sound is is my faithful staffy. He's got a bean bag in the corner of the paint room and it's Yeah he guards that end of the room. It's all completely safe down there. There we go. Time to get the psycho brush out and get those eyeballs in, I think. Where was our psycho brush? And drop of matte white onto the white, white palette. Damp brush, take it off. That's going to be a challenge to get the eyeballs on this one.
Oh, no, a flat error in that one. Yes. <laughs> I tell you what, I think my dog would love the bed under my painting desk as well, but he farts so much that I'd never get the painting done because I'd just be, my eyes would be bleeding the whole time. At least if he's the other end of the room, I can hear, hear it and I've got time to open the window. <laughs> Feet warmer dog, yeah. Oh, bless. It's nice to have a bit of company on a very quiet, lonesome sort of hobby, really, isn't it? I hope, you, I hope this get on camera. I can't even start to think about checking the camera on your eyeballs. Where's the black? Here we go. Because this is already thinned out, it's black, so it's... Yeah. That would do, wouldn't it? Psycho away. Next time, where's his little ah? Uh, there we go. To do the cloak, wasn't I? So next, I'm going to go for pure red. Yeah, I've got a pretty bad habit of putting too much paint out. So I do kind of waste quite a bit, unfortunately. Although with the wet palette, it's there tomorrow as well, so. I do get some use out of it. All right, we're just gonna, we've watered that down quite a bit, so we're just gonna start hitting out our highlights. Well, that wash is giving us a pretty good uh, guide to where we're going. He had a right good snore tonight, didn't he? Remember one of the early videos I made that it was <laughs> <coughs> I had to reshoot the whole video because 
I didn't think he was being picked up and he was having dreams and stuff and doing that funny half barky thing that dogs do when they're dreaming. I thought it'd be okay. And then I watched it back and thought, no, it's not okay. <laughs> So I've been around that once. Let's leave that there for a sec. If you were just paint the woman issue, you could just carry on working at the strength of the highlight there, but since we're doing a few, might as well just do a bit of it, move on, bit of it, move on. It looks a bit stronger under the light than it actually is because it's um pretty washed out red that I'm using at the moment. Watered it down quite a bit. Yes. Yes, one of the videos hopefully I'll do this week is uh that 10 mil painting one. I'm going to paint some 10 mil early Germans. Picked up from the Beast this afternoon. I've never done a video 10 mil before, so I can get the, the camera set up right. Just working in downstrokes on their cloaks at the moment. <laughs> You're kind of sketching in your highlights at first, aren't you? So. Bit red on there. You got some red on you. Okay, you wash that's drying. We're going to go and water some of that white we had for the eyes. Gonna just thin that out. And I'm gonna just highlight all the white we put that wash over just picking out the highlights on it this one is plume concentrating it on the that top edge It's 
settling some of the more recessed areas stay dirty. There we go. Oh, the shoulder. I just did it on the end of the uh, areas. Thin it out a little bit more. Highlight all this white out. And the shoulder. It's just a bit more interesting than just painting it plain white. If I was doing the rank and file, I'd just do a plain white or just off white, one of the two. As soon as this is the half guard, we can spend a bit more time on it. Again, just take the ends and edges, ends and edges, where everything's going to look a little bit lighter. Right, so we can then go back to our red, thin it out a little bit more. We start thinner, and it can always work a little bit more in there. We're just going to pick out those areas we've highlighted, but just come inside it and just take the higher, highest part of the uh, area and just strengthen it up. And if we've got any areas like it got a little bit too much washing and we can where we've got quite a thin paint we can just put a little bit over the top like a glaze. And this is working very thin. Put some of my thumbnails so we can see, shall we? Okay. Do I usually drink a skull glass once you're done for a nice treat? Oh yes, always. It's like the blood of my enemies. Yeah, I do enjoy it. One thing I've never done, these, these guys, you see them have the uh, ordinary mugs of tea and then they drink their brush water. Ooh. Yes, I'm a brush licker. I admit it, I hold my hands up, but I've never, never drunk my paintbrush water. I threatened to before. <laughs> yeah, so I've just built that up a little bit on there. Yeah, well, have a nice dinner, Harvey, and thanks for dropping by. Have a good one, mate. Stay safe.
I'm really quite enjoying doing these uh, Friday night paints. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them as well. It's nice to have some contact for people you're sort of doing videos for. We have really chatted about all sorts so far, which is quite cool. Oh, Warfare next weekend. There's, um, I think the Beasties are running a competition as well. I'm not sure if it's Saga or... I think it's Sword Point, I think. I should have checked. I'm pretty sure it's Sword Point. It might be both. Who knows? I should really take notice, more notice of these things. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I could get some video of... Uh, Next weekend, I think I'm going down there. That'd be quite a cool thing to do. I was going to do it at Newbury, and I I kind of filmed uh, me arriving, and I filmed getting up to the venue, and then I got inside and forgot to do any more filming, which was really rubbish of me. It was just so busy. There were so many... I was surprised how busy it was. I think, uh, I think warfare would be the same. Yeah, cheers, Rich. I think in a in a hobby where it's it's mainly very solo, isn't it? It, it? Apart from if you're just gaming with someone, but if you're painting, it's, uh, is there anyone else out there? <laughs> right, so it's third pass now. So some of those red highlights get quite strong now, look. The more time you spend building these highlights up, the better, isn't it? That's it, we're just coming up to two hours. So we're pretty much done. We're just doing the fancy pants bits now, really. What I'll probably do is I'll finish the base off tomorrow. Yeah, we can always learn off of people. I, I mean, I watch other videos as well and think, oh, that's quite good. I, I don't do that or I do that differently. There's always something to learn from someone else, isn't there? And the minute we stop learning, you know, you nail the lid on. Let's grab the Mars Red. Some more dip in that and weaken it down. And we're gonna just hit the real edges with this baby and just take it to that glowy orange place that we like. Well, I like. Yes, yeah, so I do what I usually do with these. I get them finished up and uh, 
put the stills on the Facebook and Twitter page. We all know that paints pirate or pirate rich paints. For those that are watching back tomorrow. Those that have managed to make it to the end of the video, well done. It's quite a long one to watch. Uh, it's not live, isn't it? If you are watching this and you've not subscribed and liked and commented, I like seeing comments, I like seeing those, I always try and answer them. If you're on Facebook, Twitter, come and have a, have a look to a gander on that. On the other thing I keep telling, not telling people what I get told off for is ring the notification bell so you get notifications when I put something new up. I presume most of you guys have done that anyway. The sooner we can get the numbers, the sooner the Beastie Boys will said special things will happen. You uh... were. Okay, so we've taken the. Is that orange? Let's just add some of this purple to the. There we go. I mean, that's about good for them. I might do in the morning, I might do a bit of a shield design when I've checked some out. Because there's some quite fancy ones for these. I didn't want to rush it now. So that's what we've got. I think they're proper. Let's look at the other two. So I'll get them finished in the morning. Do the base and stuff. I won't take long. Uh, get the shield done. I get some stills done and get them on the Facebook and Twitter. Right, that's just under to come up to two hours, which I'm happy with that. Hope you are too. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, Friday evening paint along. And uh, I'll see you in the week. Cheers then, shipmates. Thanks for coming along and see you soon. Cheers and guys.